Hey everybody, Fernbark here. Uh, today's project is going to be uh, some solid fuel heating for my trailer. Originally what I really wanted to purchase was a uh, Marine Works stove. Uh, they make an awesome unit called the Little Cod. Unfortunately it sells for about $1,500 and it's a six month waiting period. I have both or neither money nor time uh, that I want to invest in this. I may actually still get one depending on how well this turns out. I mean they're really cool units. Uh, look them up Marine Works Little Cod. Uh, and then my second pick was the Dickinson Marine Stove. Uh, those babies are about 400 bucks plus or minus depending on uh, if you can find it on sale somewhere. And then once you get done with all the piping and everything else the whole kit's going to run around 700 bucks to, to have a finished project. And I really like those a lot too but uh, still kind of expensive so um, I saw a video for ammo can stoves on uh, YouTube so 800 videos later I decided I'm going to try this myself um, a lot of them are 50 caliber cans uh, this is a 50 caliber ammo can right here and I actually almost bought one from somebody that was pre-made and what do they want for it a hundred and thirty five bucks and then another fifty bucks for the kit to plumb it out your thing but if you look at this it's it's pretty small um, so I'm, I'm pretty glad I didn't buy it and uh, then uh, the I thought well I'll make one myself and then I started looking at ammo cans and this is a 50 caliber tall which is basically the same footprint just a little taller um, which would be a better stove and then uh, but then I saw these guys and I'm like this is the deal right here so this is a 20 millimeter ammo can and uh, it's nice and big and uh, I looked up the dimensions on this uh, it's 14 tall and it's about 17 and a half this way and it's 7 inches across uh, across here and dimensionally it's about the same size as a Dickinson stove so uh, what I'm hoping to do is save myself a couple hundred bucks uh, and coming up with this project and, uh, and then it'll be fun and you know a little part of ownership there but uh, yeah I'm hoping this is gonna work out for me my plan is to uh, make my stove a little different than a lot of the ones you see because what I want to do is I'm gonna put a window in it and then uh, the other thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create uh, an air I want to do air intake from outside of the trailer so I won't be using the air sucking cold air in from outside through gaps in my trailer and then uh, using that and then pumping that outside what I want to do is have an independent line come into the uh, can from outside the window basically going through the same spot that the uh, smoke stack is going through and then uh, what I'm gonna what I want to attempt to do is build a, a secondary burn in here so uh, the and then I'll be able to use more of the fuel as I go along. Instead of having a door that swings open like you see most styles, what I want to do is I think I'm in to avoid cutting as much. I'm going to try to have it open like this, and um, I probably will going to have to cut across here, and then this will be permanent down on the bottom, and then this will be a much smaller door. But in order to make this happen, what I had to do is I had to trim uh, this piece right here. It used to be uh, angular like this and I had to trim it straight otherwise this part catches on here. And if you're going to do this, don't make the mistake I did. Um, you got to trim this pretty far back so that this uh, lid won't catch on that lip. I had decided I was gonna gonna have to go ahead and put a door in it that open and close like a regular door. Uh, just that thing was gonna be too long, and I was feeding the fire with it. It was just really unwieldy. So I went ahead and cut a hole. And uh, now that I'm done, what I really wish I had done was uh, left. This would have been a little trickier to cut. 
But you see this ridged piece right here. I don't know if you can see that in the camera or not. So anyhow, this is an open gap right here. And if I had thought of it earlier, I would have let these extend up a little bit. And I wish I had left that open, or I wish I had extended this tube right here so that it would ooh, this sharp, come up a little bit and then uh, opened up the face because what I'm going to end up doing is this is Neoceram. It's glass you find on the front of uh, wood-burning stoves. And I'm going to mount this as a window and then uh, this air, if I had extended this up a little bit and then drilled air inlet holes right here, it would blow air up over this glass and then that keeps it from getting smoked up just like the stove in my house does. 